What's up boys and girls, it's the editor here. Now I'm just letting you all know that Chani is a doo-doo head and he sent me some files to edit but didn't send me the proper mic recording so if the sound quality isn't as good as it usually is then it's his fault. Hashtag Chani is a doo-doo head. Also press the like button because I said so, you know, enjoy the video. Look me into my eyes. Hey hey it's the coach, how are you guys doing? It's me Chani Sports and welcome back to the Crystal Palace career mode and my friends this is episode 30 Atova. That is episode 32 in Swedish. Let me know in the comments down below what is episode 33 in your language, please. Now, boys, this episode is going to be clutch. In this one, guys, we started off by playing against Fulham with our reserves team, with the player of the month, Cabot Lewin. If we beat Fulham, we go back into the first position in the Premier League. And, boys, this season has been an absolute madness. It's been going back and forth between drama and success. It's been great, and I've been enjoying myself a lot. Last episode we played against Liverpool, it was a draw right there, bad result. But then against Schalke, we turned up big time. We destroyed them 4-0. Absolutely amazing performance from a lot of players in the last episode. But Joao Felix was clearly the standout player. And also you guys seem to really enjoy the real-life football talk. Now, before we get into that one, let's talk about the career mode first and about your support. Thank you guys for all the comments in the last episode talking about the things that I talked about at the end of the video. If you haven't seen it, well, you're not a true supporter because you don't watch my videos completely. You only watch the first five minutes and then you're gone. And I don't like that. Stick around, watch the video. And of course, if you're already here, if you're already clicking the video, that means you're enjoying my content. I think, in my opinion, if people Click the video, it should automatically give it a like. You know, that'd be great. If you guys could give a like to this video, please, that'd be very much appreciated. Let's get this video to over 3,000 likes. I'm expecting big things in this episode. Obviously, we'll be playing against Fulham, and then after that, we're gonna, we're gonna be playing against Leicester as well. The Schalke game will be sent because 4-0 in the first leg. Things are looking quite good. And of course, guys, no worries. I've got the cheat hoodie on. I'm ready to cheat. I can get it done again. A couple of comments right here that um, caught my eye from the last episode. This one has over 100 likes on it. It is from Kajus or Lavas. Or, or Lovas, sorry. Um, he says, put Joao Felix on corner so he can get more assists. Very, very true, my friend. We're going to go ahead and put Joao onto these corners because, yes, he needs them. Um, Tigankov is actually doing quite fine on the corners as well, but I guess we're going to keep it on Joao Felix for now. And then, of course, there's another comment which says, talk about my United winning against PSG and also the VAR penalty decisions. Now, in terms of the penalty decisions, I don't have that much insight because I haven't watched the full game. But in terms of Manchester United coming back and beating PSG at their home ground for the B team, Nothing but respect, man. Nothing but respect. What I'm hoping for is, as a Liverpool fan, that Manchester United carries this type of form into their game against Manchester City and beats them. That would be the dream come true. I would love that to happen. So hopefully, they can carry their form into the next game. Props to Romelu Lukaku, who in the last three games has scored six goals. Hey, I'm impressed, man. He gets better and better. It seems like he has lost some weight. He looks a little bit leaner, so he does play a little bit better on top of it. And Marcus Rashford is a true talent, an amazing, amazing young player. And here we are against Fulham, boys. This game is clutch. We have to win this one. Every single game from this point on is going to be a Premier League finale, so to say, because our opponents, Manchester United, are just not giving up. They are not giving up. They are coming back into that first position over and over again. And on top of it, Wilfried Zaha is two goals behind Alexis Sanchez. Let's take a look into the fan objectives as this game gets prepared. The midfield maestro, we have gotten two assists in the last episode with Joao Felix. So he is on 9 out of 15, which is big for us. Um, do it like Henri, we are still on 1 out of 2. Baby Shevchenko, we are getting closer and closer. Tigankov only needs 3 more goal contributions and he will have reached his objective. The powerhouse, obviously, we have finished already and we have scored another one in the last episode with Nandes, which was great. And keeping it clean, we are on 17 clean sheets. Three more to go. We can do this, boys. We can get these objectives done. And hopefully, we can also get past this Fulham team right here with uh, Mitrovic up top. Over to the right to Dodo. This is the reserves team. So Dodo is obviously playing. We played through to the player of the month, Kavad Lewin. 
Gets on, gets on, not the best of passes. Great steal by Lee Devald. let's go. Push for, oh no, no, Tomiyasu with a massive mistake. It's a big mistake. This is really bad, boys. This is really... Oh, wait a second. Uh, don't even worry, boys. Don't even worry. It's time. It is time. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. I'm ready. You're ready. We all know what's coming. It's time to cheat, boys. Let's get it done against Fulham. Focus mode is turned on. There's a good ball. Cessignon on his left foot. Thankfully, that volley didn't smash into the top right corner. Cessignon obviously... Could have just banged it in because with the shot error that we have at the moment i wouldn't be surprised about that one just smashing in like that but big mistake at the back for the first goal man i can't believe that i have made that mistake gets on cavaloon kuyate dodo dodo do you have a good cross on you and are there enough players that can actually get onto a cross andreas pereira gets fouled inside the box gets on gets on loses it pereira pereira beautiful play cavaloon gets passed Passes it to Kuyate. Can he shoot? Kuyate can sh Yes! What a strike from Kuyate! He makes a comeback into the team and he scores a beautiful goal. That's what you want to see, man. You want to see these players waiting for their moment, come in into the team and score. Kuyate hasn't played any games this season. So the fact that he steps up in a big moment like this could be huge, man. Calvert Lewin gets himself an assist right there. Kuyate is probably the only good CDM that I have in my team that does have power on his shooting. So this was a massive. It's the same technique that Sander Berger used, but it's a much more difficult position in my opinion. Lots of defenders in front of him. He gets it done. Kuyate, 1-1, one, one, we're back. Seri can get it down the wings, and yes he can. Mitrovic down the middle again. This could be huge. Hoiberg on the volley. Their volleys have been quite inconsistent so far, so I guess Letting them take these volleys isn't a bad idea. Kiesa on the run. Kiesa cuts back in. Kiesa still going. Kiesa still going. Kiesa still going. Shoot. It's a bad finish. It doesn't go in. In the 50th minute, you would expect Kiesa to score that one. That's a bit unfortunate, man. Great defending from them. Getting his composure rattled right there. Okay, 61st minute. We foul our opponent for a little bit. We're going to bring on... <sighs> I don't really know who to bring on. I guess Hudson Odoi can play for this rest of the game. He's gonna come in for Chiesa. Hopefully he can make a difference in this team. If not, we gotta bring on someone else. But it's only midfield players really. Here goes Andreas Pereira. Pereira now pushing through. Pereira has a little bit of support in Dodo. Dodo is gonna make that run. Dodo is continuing that run. Dodo passes straight away. I pressed the button already. What is he waiting for? Hudson Odoi and Van Arnold making these runs. Van Aanholt cuts back inside. He's looking for these moments. Van Aanholt gets it in. Kuyate, Kuyate, get it into Andreas Pereira. Shoot Pereira! It's a deflection. I'm trying really hard, but we're not getting our chances in. Down to the right, it's Dodo. Dodo with a lot of space. He cuts in. Dodo, bring it into Kuyate. I see you making that run. That's a beautiful run! Andreas Pereira, let's go! It is 2 1 as my controller disconnects. Don't let me celebrate the goal. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. That's 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 nice. I don't look like an idiot right now. No, not at all. Imagine though if my controller turned off right when I wanted to take the shot with Pereira. <laughs> that would have been much worse. So thanks for turning off during my celebration. I will take that. It is 2-1. Andreas Pereira gets it done, boys. That is a clutch goal from a clutch player right here. Let's go. Right before the end of the game. I mean, there's still plenty of time, but... That is a very, very important goal. Dodo passes it. Kuyate is involved again. Kuyate with a goal and an assist. Hey, he wants his spot back in the reserves team, boys. He has done really well. Andres Pereira with the goal. Very good one as well. Great composure in front of goal. Good finish. And now we are back into the first position in the league if it goes on like this. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you freaking kidding me? What? The hell is that goal? That has to be one of the ri most ridiculous crosses I have seen. <sighs> Tomiyasu again. He he just he doesn't cover him, man. I think we gotta replace Tomiyasu, boys. I'm not I'm not happy with him in the reserves team. He just doesn't feel right. It's actually gonna be Fulham, isn't it? I cannot believe this is actually happening right now. Say, Senor, I'm trying to put a tackle in. It's me to do it. I can't believe this is happening, man. I can't believe the cheat code is not working. Turn on, 
turn on. Mitrovic scored freaking, what, three goals against me? <sighs> I can't believe this is actually happening. Come on, let's get that draw at least. Let's get that draw, please. No. That's it. This is the last attack of the game. Gets on. Hudson Odoi. Hudson Odoi lost it, man. It's done. We have lost against Fulham in one of the most <sighs> weirdest ways possible, man. It's crosses upon crosses. They know Mitrovic is up there. He gets the goals. The cheat didn't work. It just didn't work, man. Just didn't work. I can't believe I lost this game. I really cannot believe this. This is. This is just sad at this point. Kuyate coming in with a great performance, but it wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough. A big mistake by Tomiyasu. I do blame Tomiyasu for two of the goals that we conceded. His positioning in that cross where Mitrovic scored that um, second goal for Fulham wasn't good enough. And then he bottles the pass at the beginning as well, which obviously is my mistake, but still it was him making that mistake as well. Ah, oh, man. This is bad. This is really bad for the title race. Alright, so the game against Schalke will be simmed right here with the reserves team, guys. Because obviously, I want to have my first team ready for the big game later on against Leicester City in the league. It was a really bad result for us. It's a 2-1 win for Schalke. Chiesa does score right here. Luckily, none of the first team players have been subbed in. I'm just very disappointed with my performance right there, despite trying to cheat with the hoodie. It just didn't work and I just need to up my performance. It's six games to go, I believe, and Manchester United is two points ahead of us. And that is not something that you want to see. The question is, who is our Europa League opponent? Hopefully it isn't Manchester City. It is actually Gladbach. As you can see down there, Manchester City is going to be the opponent on the other side for AC Milan. So we're going to be playing against a big team in the final if we do make it past Gladbach. Um, I'm not going to take that on me uh, thinking that's too easy. No, it's not going to be easy. We have the office. We have seven messages right here, which all of them are just pointless press conferences don't make a difference so we're gonna go ahead and play this game right here against Leicester City to redeem ourselves and also finally use our first team again I have missed using this team in that last game um, it wasn't a good performance from me personally I didn't do that well but it's gonna help to have this team but I think I saw something Manchester United have already played and they are on 68 points so if we do win we're gonna be a good. We're gonna be in a good position, but how's the goal difference looking? That's the thing. Their goal difference is on 30. That is uh, really good. Ours is on 24. That isn't as good. I need to score as many goals as possible against Leicester City. We need to improve our goal difference, boys, because even if we do win right now, we're gonna be stuck in second. It's good though to see Manchester United slip up. Come on, boys. We can get this done. I believe in our team. First team is ready. They have been playing out of their mind lately. Let's get it done again. Here it is, boys. Crystal Palace at home. This is a massive game. This is very, very important. After that bad performance against Fulham, we got to step it up at home with the boys. Obviously, Joao Felix is going to carry the team onto the pitch, hopefully. This is going to be a good game. And Zaha, I need goals from you. I do need goals from Wilfried Zaha. Nakajima also in a starting lineup. Tigankov, the front four of our team, including Joao Felix at Cam, is massive at the moment. And we definitely need to score some more goals for the goal difference. I hate the fact that the goal difference isn't displayed in the league table anymore. That kind of sucks. But hopefully that will change in the next FIFA. I don't know why they are taking things away that were just perfectly fine in previous iterations of the game. Joao. Joao Felix with a little bit of space. He is going to stop himself. He's going to drag it back inside. He's been surrounded by too many players. We get it back though with Sanda. Nandez right outside the box. Nandez with a beautiful pass into Joao, Joao bringing it back, Nandes, oh that was amazing play from Joao Felix and the boys, Juan Bissaka come on, let's go, good one, into Nandes, Nandes over to Zaha, Zaha turns, Zaha shoots, it's a deflection, Zaha, come on mate, come on mate, you got this, on the volley, oh my god, Zaha with the El Tornado volley, that is incredible, in the 15th minute, boys, we score, not the 15th, in the 10th minute of the game, we scored an absolute beauty of a goal with Zaha. I mean, at this point, I'm actually looking for goals 
just goals. I'm not looking for ridiculous goal of the season contenders, but that is an absolutely amazing strike from Wilfried Zaha. What a way to score, man. It is 1-0. We need more. We need a lot more goals in this game. Mbisaka, down the wings goes Sander Berger. An unusual lad down the wings. We bring it into Tsigankov. Tsigankov cuts inside. Tsigankov still going strong. Tsigankov still going very strong. That was impressive. I mean, our center back moves forward, plays it into Nandes. Beautiful. Nandes cuts back outside, looking for Sanda. Sanda on it. Sanda on it. Let's go. Pass it. Show. Ah, no. Sanda, Nandes. I see Shoya. Shoya is going to let that through. He's going to chase it down. Shoya cuts inside. He lost it. Shoya gets it back though. Joao. Tsigankov. That's a pen, ref. That's a pen. Referee, come on, bro. He's injured. Shoya, I need you to come close. Shoya, beautiful. Shoya again. Shoya Nakajima gets the chance. It's not enough though. I maybe should have not taken it low driven. Should have banged it into the top left corner with a power shot past the keeper at the near post. The first half is finished, boys. We are 1 0 up, which is great. But Crystal Palace is prone to conceding. We know that. So we need to do really well in the defending uh, side of things. We haven't really allowed Leicester City too many chances so far. I believe they had zero, in fact. Yeah, they had zero shots. Great first half. We just gotta keep it up with the goal scoring. We gotta score a couple more. At least let's make it 2-0. Sanda cuts back, brings it into Zaha. Zaha with the turn. Zaha with the finish. Zaha with the finish. It is two goals for Wilfried Zaha, El Capitan. He gets it done, boys. What a strike. Let's go. This is his game. This is clearly his game. El Tornado goal. And then after that, with a great scoop turn around two defenders, he gets it done. Great job by Sanderberg in the build-up. But that is just pure power into the top left corner. That's what you want to see from your strikers, man. Zaha has missed in much easier uh, position. So it's great to see him score this one, man. It's 2-0. Hopefully we can get one more. And the clean sheet as well. That would just be the cherry on top. Hamiri, Shaka, Lucas, Dokore, Leicester City have definitely turned things around in their team. Dokore again on the ball. We want to want to keep that clean sheet. Want to keep it for sure. It's a shot. Dokore was forced to use his left foot right there. And that clearly wasn't good enough. And here comes Leicester. Hermoso with a clutch tackle. And there we go. We are going down the left hand side with Tierney. Tierney now waiting for support. He is getting it. He doesn't want it though for now. We pass it down the wings. We pass it back into Zaha. Can it be a hat-trick for him? The defenders have stopped chasing him down. He hits the crossbar. Oh boy, we get it again. Joao. Joao cuts back, plays it. Nandes. Yes! Joao Felix assists and we do score. It's 3-0. That will take our goal difference to, I believe, I believe it was 26. So it does take it to 29, which is only one goal behind Manchester United. This game is exactly the goal going the way that we wanted it to go. Amazing performance from Crystal Palace right here. And Nandes, of course, not the best of finishes, but I will take it. It's 3-0. And it is the end of the game. An amazing performance from Crystal Palace boys, which is a 3-0 victory with Zaha obviously clearly being the player of the episode right here. Amazing performance from him and what a goal he scored. Let's take another look into that goal of Zaha. I believe it was the first one. He's trying to get past them, does the alternator, flicks it up, bangs it on the volley. What do you want? What else do you want? That's an incredible goal from Zaha, which obviously takes him, hopefully, at the same level as Alexis Sanchez in terms of goals scored this season. It is not only a battle in between Manchester United and Crystal Palace in terms of the title, but it is also a battle for the top scoring position. And it looks like it's a four horse race. Wow. Hazard, Zaha, Davor, all on 16 goals. That is going to be a madness towards the end of the season. I cannot believe that it is that close in there, but Zaha, has gotten in there and he's getting things done for our team which is great he had great accuracy on some of those shots some of them obviously went wide but hey i will take two goals a game 
from him right there. I definitely have to improve my defense and the reserves team. That is going to be one of the key things that we want to improve next season, boys. We got to bring in someone better than Tomiyasu. He just isn't good enough. And um, I also need someone else down the wings instead of Townsend. He doesn't do it anymore for me, so we want to replace Townsend next season as well. And in the starting lineup of our first team, if I had to replace one player, who would it be? I actually don't know. Like, I legit don't know. I really love this team. I enjoy using this team so much because it's a mix of players that I would never really put together anyway. So, I like that a lot. And who would have thought that the Crystal Palace team would look like this? We don't have any, like, standout, incredible talents in here. It's only a bunch of players that basically are, like, above average in terms of uh, their skills, but... They are getting it done and it's a lot of fun to use these guys and I'm really, really enjoying myself trying to chase down the title with a team like that instead of chasing it down with a team that has a bunch of 90 rated players which obviously makes it a lot easier. This is a proper, proper challenge. Who is our next opponent though? Again, we have Gladbach. Oh, semi-finals. Europa League next episode boys and then after that or before that we actually do have Chelsea and that is going to be a very very important game as well and then we're getting closer and closer to probably the season finale in that match against Manchester United I want the title to be decided in that game I want it either to be mine or theirs that's the point I wanted to make it as as much dramatic as possible and hopefully we can get it there it's gonna be interesting man we are both on the same point Manchester United and Crystal Palace at 68 Liverpool out of the race already thank you guys so much for watching this episode it was a lot of fun to record Wilfried Zaha is an absolute hero and Manchester United GG's with that game against PSG props to you guys Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you next time with the semi-final game in the Europa League. Take care. Peace.